now we will see how to place this uh, IC physically on the breadboard. We have already seen uh, on the diagram where we have to place it. So, I will just make it uh, near to you. So, so, we can see clearly here is the IC number is SN7400N. So, it is 7400 IC which consists of 4 2 input NAND gates. So, where to place an IC as we have already discussed in the diagram that you will have to placed a, place the IC in, in the line in the middle line across the middle line of this breadboard. So, here you can place this say here, here you have to place it here see here I have placed it see, this is how I have placed this IC on the breadboard. You can you can just place this IC anywhere starting from here to here, but you will have to ensure that the this line or the separation should lie in the middle of the IC in the middle of the IC so that the pins are not sorted. Suppose if you are placing it here anywhere other than this line say suppose you have placed it here you have placed it over here the pins will be say you have placed it over here. So, the pins will be sorted the two pins the pin number 1 again we will see how how uh, we have already seen how we just number the pins in and count the num uh, pin numbers in the IC. This is the notch this is the notch from where we start we just start counting this is the notch from here we will just start counting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and finally this one is 14. So, by placing an uh, IC like this we will just sort the pins we will we will just sort the pins 1 and 14 or 7 and 8 pins pin number 7 and 8 are sorted similarly 6 and 9 are sorted. So, we cannot place this IC like this so, only place where we can just put our IC on this breadboard is over here across across this line okay. half of the pins on the other side and half of the pins on this side. So, you can just place it over here. Make sure that the legs are all the legs are going inside the pores. You, you have to be careful uh, while placing this IC so that you just do not end up with breaking the legs. So, this is the IC that we have placed on the breadboard. So, now we will see uh, how to make connections in the IC on the breadboard. So, we have placed this IC over here in the middle part. So, uh, this is the power supply that we have connected the upper part is the white wire that we have connected is 5 volts and this is 0 volt that is ground. So, first thing while using a IC what you have to do is you have to connect the power supply and ground to the IC. First of all what you have to do is first you have to supply power to this IC. So, uh, from the pin diagram you will have to refer the pin diagram of the IC that you are going to use. So, here we have used 7400. So, let me just show you the pin diagram of uh, 7400 IC that we are using right uh, right now. So, this is the 7400 IC. So, this is the pin diagram of 7400 IC. Uh, here we can see pin number 14 is the VCC pin. So, you will have to supply 5 volt over here or VCC over here and this is the ground pin here you have to connect the ground before making the connections. So, uh, as, an, as an example we will just uh, try and test the truth table of the NAND gate using this IC 7400. So, if you use the first gate, so you will have to connect say input A and here input B. What are A and B? A 
and B are the two inputs and Y is the output then for NAND gate we already know that if, if you supply 0 0 you will get an output 1, 0 1 you will get an output 1, 1 0 you will get an output 1 and 1 1 you will get an output 0. If, if you just want to test it, test it you will have to you will have to connect A and B to the these two pins. Uh, you can just interchange A with B or B with A, no issues. So, here you will have to you will be getting Y. So, <clears throat> how to get Y as high or low? How to test this Y whether it is high or low? So, in this truth table, suppose in this truth table, what you have to do is you you have to connect a and b to this two pins 1 and 2 and get the output y from this pin 3 you can do it from here also you can connect a over here b over this point and get the output y from this point you can similarly you can use this gate also you can use this gate also so we will just continue with the first gate I am just erasing rest other gates that are um, not to be used. So, we will continue with the first gate. So, what do you mean by 0 0? So, 0 0 means low low and here the output will be high low high the output will be high high low the output will be high 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 the output will be low. So, what are this low and high values? So, low is nothing but the lower value like ground, we just connect 0 volt for low. For high, we just connect 5 volt for high. So, what you will have to do here, you will have to, you will have to supply one at a time, say 0 volt. 0 volt and you will have to test the voltage present over here. You will have to test the voltage present over here or the voltage of this point pin number 3. So, how you can how you will be testing this uh, measuring this voltage uh, of this point by using a multimeter. The best option is multimeter or or in other way what you how you can do is uh, if you want to do it faster what you will have to do is you will have to connect an LED to this point LED to this point with a ground okay LED to this point here I'll I'll also like to mention here that while you are using an LED so, you will have to place a current limiter, current limiter over here. I will just erase it and I will draw it again. I will be drawing here again. Connect an LED, but you will have to connect a current limiter over here, current limiter over here and connect it will be connected to ground. So, we will be doing that in the actual circuit, we will be making the connections on the breadboard. So, this is the power supply, uh, these are the power rails 5, uh, five volt running through this point to the half of the breadboard on the top row and this is the ground. So, first of all whenever you are, uh, you will use an IC, you have to first thing that you have to do is you have to just connect uh, you have to connect the VCC and ground pins of the IC to the power supply that is VCC to 5 volt and the ground pin to 0 volt we have connected it. Now, this these two pins will just make it as making make it as A and B A and B these are the pins that we have made A and B. This is A, red one is A and 
this one is b so uh, what was our truth table our truth table was a b y 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 0 so uh, now the third pin as we have already seen third pin is the output so from there you have to connect you will have to connect the led and connect it through uh, current limiter and just connect it to the ground so so pin number 3 we are going to connect an led we have connected it and we have connected it to the ground to the ground we have just connected it to the ground so this is the circuit we have made this is a this is b so the red wire is this one is a this one is brown one is b just put the camera on side and pin number 3 we have connected it to the led and led has been connected to the ground in series uh, through a resistor current limiter so uh, we'll just be giving the power supply to this so now giving the values 0 0 0 0 we can see that the led is glowing both the pins a and b are connected to 0 0 both the pins are connected to 0 0 so here in this uh, truth table we see that when we give 0 volt 0 volt we get a high voltage high voltage so this point is verified that when we have given 0 0 then output what we get is a high voltage low low high right now we are connecting b to 1 b to 1 b to 1 again see uh, low high again we have output as high next we are going to connect A to a high voltage and B to 0 volt, low volt. So, here also we can see that the LED is glowing high, low, high. Next combination is 1, 1 that is high, high. A is already at high, red one. We can see that the red uh, wire is already connected to high voltage. So, we are connecting the brown wire to high volt. we have connected it and the LED is off. So, we have seen that high high the output is low output is low that means LED is not in uh, glowing that indicates that the output is output or the voltage at pin number 3 is low. So, by this we have verified we have verified our truth table of NAND gate truth table of NAND gate truth table of NAND gate by using the IC IC 747400 by using the IC 7400.